Making your own horse tack can be a lot of fun. The items you make can be personalized and you can save a lot of money as well. My name is George Hurst. In this program, we will show you how easy it is to make a really nice breast collar. The breast collar we're going to make today is based on a pattern included in the horse tack accessory pattern pack. I have chosen the one you see here, which has wings on both sides and a large three inch ring in the center. We will need to cut four one inch wide strips from the saddle skirting leather. Two of them will be 36 inches long, one 23 inches long, and one nine inches long. Please note I have made two templates from the pattern that I'm using and uh, one will be for what we're going to call the wings. We'll cut one left and one right and also one center part. Now we'll cut all of these out of skirting weight leather. So with my template now I will use my scratch all and mark the cutting line for one left and one right wing and one of the center pieces. To make the wing for the other side, it's just a matter of flipping the pattern over, position it, and mark with your scratch off. Now we will do the same thing for our center part. And now, with the sharp knife of your choice, carefully cut out the wings and the center part. I have uh, tooled and finished all of the parts that we cut earlier and I will now take my edge beveler and I will bevel around the edges of all our parts. The uh, main parts that you see me doing here as well as all of the strap goods. And we will of course bevel these top and bottom. And we'll do it to all of the parts. Next we will uh, dampen all of the edges with either water or with uh, gum tragicanth. We'll, uh, then we will slick the edges with our edge slicker. We'll do this to all of the parts. The main parts that you see here as well as the all of the strap goods. After I have slicked all of my edges then I will apply my favorite edge dressing to all of the edges that we just finished slicking. Now that we have all of our edges finished we can start the assembly. First thing we'll need to do is attach a one and a quarter inch solid ring to the one end of the wings as you can see as I did here. The best way to do that is to first of all Take your skiving tool and you need to skive down about half the thickness of this leather down to the point where the bend will be. Otherwise it's too thick to go over the 
the ring. Now we can fold the ring over, as you can see. And now I will take a pencil and make a mark about right here where I want the line of stitching to go. Now we will punch some holes in here. And I like to use a thonging chisel. Now please note I'm punching on the back side. Punching on the back side. After I've done my punching, I can turn this over and fold the tab over, you can see. And with my pencil, I'm going to make a light mark along here. This is a guide where I'm going to put some glue. But before we put the glue, we're going to take some sandpaper and we're going to rough this up a little bit so that the glue sticks better. And we'll rough it up down here at the end of the tab. And also up here where we made our pencil mark. Next I will apply contact cement over the area where we punched and over the area where we will cement to after we fold the tab over the ring. Now we'll let this dry until it gets tacky. After our cement has become tacky, we can put our ring in place and fold the tab over and stick it to the cement. Next, I will take a single punch, as you can see, and I will punch through the holes we punched first and on through to the back side. And now with uh, one yard of thread, and two needles with the wax thread, I will hand stitch this ring in place through the holes we've already punched. <laughs> 